God has had a plan for you since you were born and you know it. Sometimes it's hard to believe it. You are a sower walking through the fields with a bag full of seeds. In your hand you hold the potential for new life, for growth and fertility. You scatter the seeds and they fall on different soils. Some land on rocky ground where they cannot take root and soon wither. Others fall under thorns, which suffocate them before they can grow properly. But then there are the seeds that fall on fertile ground. These seeds germinate, grow and bear rich fruit. Just as the sower sows his seeds, God scatters his miracles over us. But only those who prepare the right soil faith will reap the fruits of his miracles. Now, let's delve deeper into this parable together and understand how it relates to your life and your faith. The parable of the sower that Jesus told his disciples is a powerful metaphor for God's plan and our spiritual growth. It reminds us that the key to receiving God's miracles lies in our hearts. The soil on which the seeds fall represents the nature of our faith. In our video, we will remember together that God hears our prayers. He sees our struggles, our hopes and our longings. There may be times when we wonder if our prayers will be answered at all. We may feel like the seeds that fall on rocky ground and wither. But I say to you, be patient. Prepare the soil of your faith and you will reap the abundant fruit. God's miracles are on the way, and you are about to experience them in your life. Imagine you have a garden. You have the seed and the tools you need to create a beautiful garden. But without the proper preparation of the soil, your efforts will be in vain. You need to dig up the soil, remove weeds and fertilize the soil. It's the same with your faith. You must nurture it, nourish it and protect it from negative influences. Only then will you experience the miraculous harvest that God has prepared for you. In this video, we want to renew and strengthen your faith. We want to help you not to give up hope, even when things seem difficult. Each of us experiences times of challenge and doubt. But it is precisely in these moments that our faith is tested and strengthened. Faith is not only believing in the existence of God, but also trusting that He is actively working in our lives. He hears your prayers and is already working a miracle for you. Perhaps you are wondering how you can strengthen your faith. Start by praying regularly and entrusting your worries and desires to God. Read the Bible and let the stories and teachings inspire you. Spend time with other believers, exchange ideas and find support in the community. All of these things are like fertilizing and watering your spiritual garden. Over time, you will see your faith grow and become stronger. Remember that God's timing is perfect. Sometimes it can seem like nothing is happening, but in reality, God is preparing everything. He is working behind the scenes, planting seeds that you may not be able to see yet. But those seeds will sprout and bear fruit in their own time. Your part is to keep the faith and be patient. Now I invite you to keep looking with an open heart and an attitude of faith. Prepare to receive the miracles of God in your life. Let's prepare the ground of our faith together and look forward to the rich harvest that lies ahead. God has prepared great things for you. Allow Him to work in your life and you will see your prayers answered. The Call of Faith Have you ever felt that your prayers go unanswered, that your deepest desires and longings go unanswered? Let me assure you that God hears every prayer and knows every request. He knows the deepest corners of your heart and sees your struggles, hopes and dreams. God's message is clear. He hears you and He is already working the miracles that will change your life. Faith is the key to communicating with God. Without faith, it is impossible to please Him. But what does it really mean to believe? It means looking beyond the visible, trusting that God is working in your life, even if you can't see it right away. Faith is like an invisible thread that connects us to heaven, and through it we receive God's wisdom, guidance and miracles. 
How can we strengthen this faith in our everyday lives? Start with prayer. Take time every day to talk to God. Be honest and open in your conversations with Him. Share your worries, your joys and your dreams. Prayer is not just a request for help, but a dialogue, a deep connection with the Divine. Another important aspect is Bible study. Scripture is full of wisdom, stories and teachings that can nourish and strengthen our faith. Read a chapter or verse every day and meditate on it. Let the words sink into your heart and take them as daily food for your soul. Don't forget the fellowship. Seek exchange with other believers. Share your experiences and learn from the stories of others. It is in community that we find support, encouragement and inspiration. When we connect with others who are walking the same path, our faith is strengthened and deepened. Let me tell you an encouraging story. One of our subscribers, let's call her Anna, recently wrote to us that she has experienced incredible miracles through her faith. Anna had long felt that her prayers were not being heard. She struggled with health problems and financial difficulties. But she held on to her faith, prayed every day and studied the Bible. One day, when she was feeling particularly desperate, she experienced a profound spiritual encounter. She heard the voice of God in her heart telling her that everything would be all right. Since that day, her life has changed. She regularly receives messages from God that give her guidance and comfort. Her health has improved, and she has found a new job that eases her financial worries. Perhaps you have also felt isolated, disconnected from others. Did you know that God often isolates those who are chosen to prepare them for His messages? These times of loneliness and isolation are not in vain. They are times of preparation in which we learn to listen to God's voice and rely on His guidance. So if you feel isolated, take it as a sign that God has great things in store for you. He is preparing you to receive His messages and see His miracles in your life. Finally, I would like to encourage you, entrust your worries to God and wait patiently for His answer. Faith means trusting that God will act at the right time. His ways are perfect and He knows exactly when and how to intervene. Let us grow in faith together and experience the miracles of God in our lives. Prepare the soil of your heart, so the seeds of faith and experience the rich harvest that God has prepared for you. Your miracle is on its way. Now it's about understanding the trials of faith and recognizing why God allows them and how they strengthen our faith. Have you ever wondered why you go through difficult times? Why sometimes it seems like everything is against you? Let me tell you that these trials are not an accident. They are part of God's plan to strengthen your faith and prepare you for greater things. Godly trials are like the purification process of gold in the fire. The gold is heated to remove the impurities so that it can shine in its purest form. Likewise, God allows trials to purify and strengthen our faith. These times of challenge are opportunities to draw closer to God and deepen our trust in Him. Let's look back at biblical examples. The story of Job is a powerful testimony to the testing of faith. Job, a righteous and wealthy man, lost everything, his children, his possessions and his health. Yet despite these terrible trials, Job held on to his faith. He complained and struggled with God, but he never turned away. In the end, Job was rewarded for his steadfastness. God restored his losses and blessed him twice over. Another example is Abraham, who is known as the father of faith. God tested Abraham by asking him to sacrifice his beloved son Isaac. Abraham obeyed, even though it broke his heart. At the last minute, God intervened and replaced Isaac with a sacrificial lamb. This test strengthened Abraham's faith and demonstrated his absolute devotion to God. But trials are not just stories from the Bible, they are also omnipresent in our modern lives. Many of us face challenges such as illness, 
financial problems or relationship issues. These situations can shake our faith and make us doubt God's plan. But it is precisely in these moments that we are called to strengthen our faith and trust in God's promises. One of our subscribers, let's call her Maria, recently shared her story with us. For years, she suffered from a serious illness that severely affected her life and that of her family. Despite numerous medical setbacks, Maria held on to her faith. She prayed tirelessly, read the Bible daily and found comfort in fellowship with other believers. After a long and difficult time of trial, Mary experienced a miraculous healing. Her story is a living testimony that God is with us in our darkest moments and guides us through our trials. How can we maintain hope and trust in difficult times? First of all, it's important to remember that God is always with us, even when we can't see or feel Him. His presence is constant and His love unwavering. When we stand in the darkness, we can trust God to guide us through. Another key is to focus on the small blessings in everyday life. Sometimes we overlook the many small miracles we encounter every day because we are waiting for the big, visible miracle. But every small gesture, every smile, every help is a sign of God's love and care. It is also helpful to remember the biblical stories and the experiences of other believers. These testimonies encourage us and show that God remains faithful even in the hardest trials. By immersing ourselves in the Bible and stories of faith, we can strengthen our hope and trust. In closing, I want to encourage you, see trials as opportunities to strengthen your faith. God does not allow trials without a reason. Every challenge you face is an opportunity to deepen your faith and strengthen your relationship with God. You are not alone. God is with you, guides you and will never leave you. Let's walk the path of faith together, even if it may be rocky and challenging. Trust that God will carry you through every trial and prepare you for greater blessings. Hold on to your faith and experience how God brings miracles out of the trials of your life. Now it's about exploring the amazing signs and wonders of God and understanding how He continues to work in our lives today. Have you ever heard of the great miracles described in the Bible? These stories are not just ancient tales, but living testimonies of God's power and love. They remind us that God is still active and working miracles in our lives today. Let's start with an overview of some of the most significant miracles in the Bible. One of the most famous is the parting of the Red Sea. When the Israelites were being persecuted by the Egyptians, Moses led them through the Red Sea, which parted before them and opened the way to freedom. This incredible act shows that God is able to make the impossible possible and save His people from any danger. Another powerful miracle is the healings that Jesus performed during His ministry. He healed the blind, the lame, the lepers and even the dead. These miracles were not only signs of His divine power, but also an expression of His infinite love and mercy. They showed people that healing and salvation can be found in Jesus. But God's miracles are not limited to biblical times. Even today, people all over the world experience signs and wonders that strengthen their faith and change their lives. One touching story is that of John Smith, a young man who was without a pulse for 45 minutes after falling into the ice. His mother prayed incessantly, and against all medical expectations, his heartbeat returned. Doctors called it a miracle, and John attributes his healing to the power of prayer and God's intervention. How can we recognize the signs and wonders of God in our everyday lives? God speaks to us through many avenues, often in ways we don't immediately understand. A sudden thought, a chance encounter, an unexpected gift, all of these can be signs from God. It is up to us to remain open and receptive so that we can recognize His messages. One of our subscribers, let's call her Lisa, experienced such a divine sign. She prayed for a long time for a solution to her financial problems. One day she found a well-paid job that she had never imagined. She realized that this was not just a coincidence, 
but an answer to her prayers and a sign of God's care. Now I invite you to wait for God's intervention with an attitude of expectation. Expectation is an attitude of the heart that prepares us to recognize and receive God's action. It means living in faith that God can intervene at any time and in any way. Imagine you are a child eagerly awaiting a gift. This anticipation and expectation opens your heart to the miracles that God wants to perform in your life. Encourage yourself and others to believe that God still performs miracles today. Don't be discouraged by doubts or negative influences. God is the same yesterday, today and forever. His power and love are limitless, and He is ready to work in your life. Trust that He hears your prayers and will answer you in His way and in His time. Another modern miracle is the story of Mary, who was healed of a serious illness. For years, she suffered from a chronic illness that severely affected her life. But through the unwavering faith and prayers of her family and friends, she experienced a complete healing. Doctors couldn't explain the sudden recovery, but Mary knew it was a sign of God's healing hand. You may be wondering how you can develop this expectancy in your life. Start by talking to God daily in prayer and asking Him to reveal His signs and wonders. Be attentive to the small and big things that happen in your life and recognize God's hand in them. Share your experiences with others and encourage them to trust in God's work as well. Remember that God's signs and wonders do not always have to be spectacular or conspicuous. It is often the small, seemingly inconspicuous moments in which He shows His presence. An unexpected phone call from a friend, a solution to a problem that has been bothering you for a long time, or a sense of peace in the midst of chaos, these are all signs of His love and care. Finally, I would like to encourage you, believe that God is still doing miracles today and is ready to work in your life. Keep your heart open and be ready to recognize His signs. Live in the expectation that God has prepared great things for you and trust that He will act at the right time. Your miracle may be closer than you think. Now it's about understanding the immense power of prayer and recognizing how it enriches our faith life and moves heaven. Have you ever felt your prayers disappearing into space like empty words? Let me assure you that every sincere prayer you say touches heaven and God hears. Prayer is not just a religious practice, it is the key to a deep connection with the Creator of the universe. Prayer is the heartbeat of faith. It is the direct line to God through which we share our concerns, hopes, joys and requests. The role of prayer in the life of faith cannot be overemphasized. It is the tool that helps us to experience God's closeness and receive His wisdom and guidance. Through prayer, we open our hearts to God's presence and invite Him to intervene in our lives. A powerful example of prayer in the Bible is the prayer of Jabez. In 1 Chronicles 4 verse 10 it says, G and Jabez called upon the God of Israel and said, O oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory, and that your hand would be with me and that you would keep me from harm, so that no pain would befall me. And God granted what he asked for. This simple but passionate prayer shows how powerful and effective prayer can be when it comes from the bottom of the heart. Another well-known prayer is the Lord's Prayer, which Jesus taught his disciples. It is a model prayer that contains all the essential elements of a powerful prayer. Adoration, petition, thanksgiving and devotion. Ere our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Matthew 6 verses 9 to 13. This prayer reminds us that we should seek God's will in our prayers and entrust ourselves to His care. How can we make our prayer life effective? Here are some practical tips for a powerful prayer life. Establish set times for your prayer, whether it's in the morning, evening or throughout the day. Consistency builds a strong prayer habit. Be honest and authentic in your prayers. 
God knows your heart and appreciates your honesty. Begin your prayer with gratitude. Thank God for his goodness and blessings in your life before you make your requests. Combine your prayer with reading the Bible. God's word inspires and guides your prayer. Take time for silence to listen to God's voice. Prayer is a dialogue, not just a monologue. Testimonies of answered prayer are powerful encouragements. Let me tell you the story of Daniel, a man who prayed for his family for years. Daniel and his wife were struggling to have children and the doctors gave them little hope. But Daniel did not give up. He prayed every day, trusting that God would hear their prayer. One day, after many years of prayer, they found out that his wife was pregnant. They were blessed with a healthy baby and give God the glory for this miracle. Another inspiring testimony comes from a young woman named Sarah. She prayed intensely for the healing of her mother, who was suffering from a serious illness. Despite negative prognosis, Sarah persevered in prayer and trusted in God's healing power. One morning, her mother woke up and suddenly felt better. Further examinations confirmed that the illness had miraculously disappeared. Sarah's story is a living example of the power of prayer and God's intervention. Now I would like to encourage you, take time to pray and trust that God hears your prayers. No matter what challenges you are currently facing, be it health problems, financial worries or relationship problems, bring them all to God in prayer. He is ready to help you and work in your life. Remember that prayer is not just about asking God for things. It is an opportunity to thank Him, praise Him and dwell in His presence. The more you pray, the deeper your relationship with God will become. Live in the expectation that God will answer your prayers. Be ready to recognize His signs and wonders and keep your heart open to His guidance. Finally, I would like to challenge you, pray regularly and in faith. Trust that God hears your prayer and will answer in miraculous ways. The power of prayer is real and transformative. Your life can be changed through prayer, and you can experience God's miracles in your everyday life. Your prayer has the power to move heaven and realize God's plan in your life. Now it's about exploring the importance of the community of believers and understanding why it is so important to be part of a faith community. Have you ever felt that your faith weakens when you are alone? Let me tell you that you are not alone. Community is an essential part of our faith life and plays a crucial role in strengthening our faith and supporting us in difficult times. We find many examples of the importance of community in the Bible. The first Christians lived in close fellowship, sharing everything they had and supporting each other in all circumstances. In Acts 2 verses 42 to 47 it says, G And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, and in the breaking of bread and in prayers. And fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. All the believers were together and had everything in common. They sold goods and possessions and distributed them among all, according to each one's need. And they were daily together with one accord in the temple, breaking bread here and there in the houses, and eating their meals with gladness and singleness of heart. This description shows us how deep and meaningful the fellowship of the first Christians was. Paul, the great apostle and missionary, wrote many letters to the churches he had founded. These letters repeatedly emphasized the importance of fellowship and mutual support. In Galatians 6 verse 2, Paul encourages the believers, you bear one another's burdens, and you will fulfill the law of Christ. And in Hebrews 10 verses 24 to 25 we read, Ye and let us consider one another to provoke us unto love and to good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more as ye see the day approaching. But why is fellowship so important? Community offers us support and encouragement. In times of need and doubt, we can rely on the prayers and advice of our fellow believers. They help us to maintain our faith and focus on God. In community, 
we find comfort and strength when we need it most. Another example of the power of community is the story of Mark and Anna. They were going through a difficult time in their marriage and were on the verge of divorce. They decided to join a small faith group where they could talk openly about their problems and be prayed for. Through the support and encouragement of their fellow believers, they found each other again and were able to save their marriage. This story shows how community can help us get through the most difficult times. Finally, I would like to encourage you to get actively involved in a community. It may take some effort at first to open up and build new relationships, but the fruits of that community are worth it. Through community you will find encouragement, support and a deeper connection to God and your fellow human beings. I'm happy for you that you've been on this journey with us this far. If this video has touched your heart or brought you new insights, it would be wonderful if you would really support us. You can become a channel member. It's easy to do via the link in the description below this video. Then, for a small monthly donation, you can watch all new videos before they are public to everyone else. If you decide to do this, thank you. After all, we are all here to grow and learn together, and your support is the light that illuminates our path. Let us grow together in community and strengthen each other in our faith. Your brothers and sisters in faith are here to support you and accompany you on your spiritual journey. Trust that God will work through the community and enrich your life. Get involved, find a group that suits you and experience the wonderful power of the community of believers. Now it's about understanding trust in God's timing and realizing that His plans are perfect, even if it's sometimes hard to grasp. Have you ever felt like you have to wait a long time for an answer from God? Let me assure you that God's timing is perfect, even if it sometimes makes us impatient. His plans unfold at just the right time, and He knows exactly when and how to intervene in our lives. God's timetable is like an intricately woven tapestry. We may only see the loose ends and incomplete patterns, but God sees the complete picture. He knows what is best for us and when the right time has come to realize His plans. This patience and trust in God's timing is crucial to our spiritual growth and our relationship with Him. Let's look back at some biblical examples that teach us to wait patiently for God's intervention. Abraham and Sarah waited many years for the fulfillment of God's promise that they would have a son. Despite their advanced age and many doubts, they held on to God's promise. Finally, in old age, their son Isaac was born. This story shows us that God's timetable is often different from our own, but always perfect. Another example is the story of Joseph. Sold by his brothers, taken to Egypt as a slave and innocently thrown into prison, Joseph waited for years for God to intervene. Yet through all these trials, he remained faithful to God. Eventually, he was appointed the second most powerful man in Egypt and was able to save his family from famine. Joseph's patience and trust in God's timing led to a great outcome. Even in modern times, there are numerous testimonies of people who have experienced a miracle after a long wait. Let me tell you the story of Lisa, who prayed for years for her dream job. Many applications and interviews led to nothing, and she began to doubt herself and her path but she held on to her prayer and her faith. One day, completely unexpectedly, she received an offer for a job that exceeded all her expectations. Lisa realized that God's timing was perfect and that her patience and faith were rewarded. In closing, I want to encourage you to trust in God's perfect timing and wait patiently. No matter how long it takes or how difficult it seems, trust that God is in control and will act at the right time. Your patience will be rewarded and you will see His plans unfold in your life. Remember that every waiting time is an opportunity to grow in faith and develop a deeper relationship with God. Use these times to draw closer to Him and strengthen your dependence on Him. God has great things in store for you, and His plans are always good. Be patient and hold on to your faith. Trust that God's timing is perfect 
and you will experience the miracles He has in store for you. Your trust and patience will lead you on a journey that exceeds your expectations and deepens your relationship with God. Now it's about reaping the rewards of faith and realizing how faith and patience are ultimately rewarded. Have you ever thought about how the seeds of faith you have sown will one day bear abundant fruit? Let me tell you that every act of faith, every patient wait and every answer to prayer leads to a wonderful harvest. Reaping what has been sown is a principle that is deeply rooted in the Bible. Jesus himself often spoke in parables about sowing and reaping. In Galatians 6 verse 9 it says, Just but let us not grow weary in doing good, for in due season we will also reap, if we do not let up. This promise reminds us that our efforts and our faith are not in vain. God's timing is perfect, and he will reward us abundantly in due season. Let's look at some biblical examples that show us how people were richly rewarded through their faith. One outstanding example is King David. He was only a young shepherd when God anointed him king through the prophet Samuel. David had to wait many years before he actually ascended the throne. During this time, he experienced persecution and many trials, but he held on to his faith. Eventually, David became king of Israel and experienced many victories and blessings. His life shows that patient trust in God leads to a rich harvest. Another example is the story of Hannah, who remained childless for years and suffered as a result. She prayed fervently to God and promised to dedicate her son to the Lord if he gave her a son. God answered her prayer and gave her Samuel, who became a great prophet and judge in Israel. Hannah's story shows that God sees the deepest desires of our hearts and rewards us with rich blessings at the right time. Even today, there are many testimonies of people who have experienced great things through their faith and patience. Let me tell you the story of Martin and Julia. They dreamed of buying a house, but for years they did not have the financial means to do so. They prayed tirelessly and trusted that God would answer their prayers. After many years of waiting and saving, they suddenly received an unexpected inheritance that enabled them to buy their dream home. Martin and Julia realized that their patience and faith were richly rewarded. Another inspiring story is that of Lena, who prayed for years for the healing of her brother, who was suffering from a serious illness. Despite many setbacks and disappointing news, she held on to her faith. One day, after years of praying and hoping, her brother was miraculously healed. This healing was a clear sign that God had heard and answered her prayers. Encourage yourself to be grateful for the small and big miracles in your life. Gratitude is a powerful attitude that opens our hearts and helps us to recognize God's hand in everything. Every small victory, every answer to prayer and every piece of good news is a reason to be thankful. See the blessings in your life and praise God for His infinite goodness. Finally, I encourage you to share your experiences and faith with others. Your story can be a powerful encouragement to someone who is going through a difficult time. Share the miracles God has worked in your life and encourage others to continue in faith and patience. By sharing your testimonies, you are spreading hope and strengthening faith in your community. Remember that the fruits of faith are not just for you. They are also there to inspire others and show God's love and power in the world. Your stories and experiences are valuable treasures that you can share with others. Be a light in the darkness and a testimony of God's goodness. Trust that God sees your efforts and your faith. Be patient and hold on to your faith, because in due time you will experience the rich harvest of your faith. Your patience and trust will be rewarded and you will see God's plans come to pass in your life. Now it's about how we can shape our lives in the light of a divine miracle. Have you ever experienced a miracle in your life? Maybe you've seen God miraculously intervene in your life and change things that seemed impossible. Let me tell you that the miracle is not the end, but the beginning of a new way of life. After the miracle, how we shape our lives is crucial. A divine miracle is not just a one-off event, 
but a sign that God is actively at work in our lives. It is an invitation to live our lives in faith and to integrate the changes that the miracle has brought into our everyday lives. An important aspect is witnessing and gratitude. The Bible repeatedly emphasizes how important it is to bear witness to God's miracles and to be thankful. Psalm 105 verses 1 to 2 says, You give thanks to the Lord and call on his name. Proclaim his deeds among the nations. Sing to him and play to him. Speak of all his wonders. Gratitude opens our hearts to further blessings and strengthens our faith. When we witness the wonders of God, we encourage others and give God the glory He deserves. It is also important to continue to look for God's work and be open. Encourage yourself to keep looking for what God is doing. His miracles happen not only in big events, but also in the small, everyday moments. Stay alert and expect God to work in your life. Community and service play a central role in our life of faith. Jesus himself set an example for us by serving others and cultivating community. In John 13 verses 34 to 35 he says, The new commandment I give to you, that you love one another. As I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Through fellowship and service, we show the love of Christ and contribute to building the kingdom of God on earth. An inspiring example is the story of Peter and Anne. After a serious car accident, they experienced a miraculous intervention from God that saved their lives. They decided to dedicate their lives to serving others. They founded an aid organization that supports accident victims and their families. Their gratitude and testimony encourage many people and show how to live in the light of a miracle. Finally, I would like to encourage you to actively shape your life according to a divine miracle. Be a living testimony of God's greatness and goodness. Share your experiences with others and encourage them to trust in God's work. Integrate your faith into your everyday life and live each day in gratitude and service to others. Trust that God's plan for your life is good and that He will continue to work in your life. Keep your heart open to his guidance and be ready to hear and follow his call. God has great plans for you, and through your faith and devotion you can be a light in the world. Now let's turn to chapter 9, the ongoing miracle of faith. Let's understand together that God's miracles and his work never stop. They are constantly around us, in our everyday lives, in the small and big things that happen to us. Faith is not just a one-time event, but a way of life, a constant trust in God that permeates our daily lives. God's ongoing work shows itself in many forms. Sometimes we see it in big, dramatic miracles, but often it manifests itself in the small, everyday blessings that we may overlook. It's important to recognize and appreciate these small miracles because they are evidence of God's constant presence in our lives. He continues to work, even if we can't always see or understand it. Faith as a lifestyle means living each day with the confidence that God is with us and guiding us. It means trusting in His wisdom and intervention in every situation, regardless of the circumstances. Faith is a decision we must make daily, the decision to trust in God and seek His guidance. Encouragement to be faithful is essential. Hebrews 10 verse 23 says, He let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he is faithful who promised. Regardless of how challenging the circumstances may be, we should remain faithful in believing and remember that God always fulfills his promises. He has promised never to leave us or forget us. Remember God's promise to always be with us. In Matthew 28 verse 20, Jesus says, D and lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. This assurance gives us the strength to carry on, even in the most difficult times. We can trust that God will guide us, support us and never let us down. Finally, I would like to encourage you once again, your faith will be rewarded. Hold on to your faith and trust that God will intervene at the right time. 
He is faithful and will fulfill his promises. Be patient and remain hopeful because God's timing is perfect. Summary of the main points. In this video, we have emphasized the importance of faith and patience. We've talked about how God's timing is perfect, even if we don't always understand it. We emphasize the importance of community and service and how we can live out our faith in everyday life. We also talked about how to live by a divine miracle and reap the rewards of faith. Encouragement to be patient. Be patient and trust in God's timing. Sometimes it seems like our prayers go unanswered, but God always hears us and will intervene at the right time. Hold on to your faith and trust that God's plan for your life is good. Call to action. Actively live out your faith. Look for God's action in your everyday life and be a light to others. Share your stories and experiences to give hope and encouragement to others. Be ready to receive God's miracles and be open to His guidance. Final Blessing May God bless you and strengthen your faith. May He give you patience and hope as you wait for His miracles. May He guide and direct you, and may you feel His presence and His love every day. Encouragement to Share Share this video and encourage others to trust in God's miracles too. Together we can share our stories and carry the light of faith into the world. God is at work in each of us, and through our faith we can make His miracles visible. Let us now pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your infinite love and your miraculous presence in our lives. Strengthen our faith and give us the patience to trust in your perfect timing. Bless every viewer and help us to recognize and appreciate your miracles. May we always walk in your light and proclaim your goodness. Amen. I hope you learned something that you will carry with you for a long time. I know this may all be a bit overwhelming. That's how I felt at first and I had more questions than answers in my head. Nevertheless, I think this video you see here could be particularly helpful to you in your current situation. I know you're looking for more answers. You'll find them in this video, so click on it now and watch it.